Hi there. As you saw in the previous video, I have two Auric machines. One is the Auric one, which is this one, and uh, the other one is the Auric Atmos, which is this one. As you saw in the other video, the Auric one is not working, and um, today we are going to repair it. I received this chip today from a guy in Hungary, and uh, that is the ULA for the Auric one. So I guess I have all the ICs uh, required to repair this machine. Now, I can't remember whether these chips are socketed or they are just soldered straight onto the PCB. So uh, the repair will very much depend on that. If they are socketed, I'll just swap out the chips as we go along until it gets uh, working. And if the chips are soldered directly to the PCB, I guess I'll need to do a little bit more debugging to figure out uh, exactly which one is wrong before I do the swap out. So uh, let's get started. Yep, and uh, there we have the machine. And luckily the ULA is socketed, so uh, we can swap that one out. Uh, but before that, let's just check that the supply voltages are okay. So first of all, let's check the input from the power supply. And uh, we have... DC coupling on the scope so we're down here this is zero and we have two volts per division and that is uh, 12 volts in so that looks good now let's plug it in and uh, you probably can't hear it over the noise from the oscilloscope but there's a terrible hum from the loudspeaker so, uh, something is definitely not right. Okay, so, uh, let's just check the power supply on different pieces of the machine. So, we do actually have 5 volts, kind of, with some noise on it. And uh, the interesting thing is that the regulator is a 789. And it has some negative input and some positive 5 volt out. Okay, let's just hold it here and uh, we have a good oscillation, no problem. So yeah, it basically looks good. The only thing strange is the regulator is a 7905 and not a 7805 and I wonder why they did that. But uh, let me just have a look at the schematic and we'll see why that is funny. Okay, so I'm sorry I don't have a printer up here and I'm too lazy to go downstairs. But if we take a look at the circuit diagram, uh, we have basically the power coming in here going to a 7905 regulator. And then they have uh, connected the output of that one to ground, leaving the what we normally call ground as a 5 volt. And of course the machine doesn't really care as long as it has 5 volts across uh, the chips on the correct pins. Um, whether this one is connected to ground or that one is connected to ground, it doesn't really matter. So yeah, uh, there's nothing there's nothing weird about the circuit diagram. Uh, yeah, so um, I think as uh, everything has power, I'm going to swap out the ULA and uh, see whether that is going to fix the problem. So it's just a matter of flipping it out like that. And uh, have a new one over here. And it looks exactly the same. And uh, let's plug that one in. Okay, and uh, I think we should apply power. Oops. Hey! I think we have something, but the TV is not tuned properly. Just one second. What is happening here? So that's it, and we have, similar to my ZX81, uh, we have a line going down the screen. And um, yeah, it disappears. Strangely enough, and there we have one again. So, is it just a matter of tuning, or is there something wrong? Okay, I think we are good. 
took a little while to stabilize, but uh, now we are fine. So I'm still a little bit concerned because during power up, uh, the screen is kind of uh, unstable. I think I'm going to swap this uh, capacitor over here, which is directly across the supply. And uh, I hope that will fix uh, that problem. There are a couple of other capacitors. In particular, the two tantalum over here, which is a, a decoupling cap for the power amplifier. And the other one is uh, for a filter on the output. And uh, this big capacitor here, uh, which is uh, obviously fine because that is uh, the DC block for the loudspeaker and we don't have a problem with that. So uh, that is one thing that uh, could give a problem during uh, power up. And the other thing is that the oscillator may not be completely stable for the first uh, couple of uh, seconds or, or 10. Uh, but I'm not going to uh, mess around with that. And uh, there's a clever little way of connecting the keyboard. No flex cables and other cheap junk. Uh, it's through a real connector on the back here. So that is really beautiful. Okay, so I've swapped out one capacitor and uh, let's plug in the power and see whether we have any problems during power up. And uh, burp! So yeah, that looks kind of stable uh, during power up, so no problem at all. Uh, I now consider this uh, Auric 1 fixed. Thank you for watching and uh, see you again soon. So yeah, that's it. That was an easy fix. Probably the easiest so far. Thank you for watching and uh, see you again soon. The chip down here and uh, everything is running.